In this video, I will show you how to start your own online TV station with video panel. So to begin, go ahead and log in to your video panel using the credential provided when you ordered your service. And once you log in, you're going to want to go to the Web TV Management section on the left side, then File Manager. So we need to upload our videos to our control panel. You could either click on this little button here to browse for your videos, or you can just drag and drop from your desktop over to this section here. Now, depending on the size of your video, this may take a few minutes, but as you can see, you have a progress bar right here that will show you where your video is at in the upload process. You also have the option to upload your videos via FTP, uh, which you'll need software such as FileZilla to do so uh, if you ever need to upload more than one video at a time. And by default, your video will be saved to the main section here, the default section, which you can then put into different folders. And we're going to talk about the playlists once the video is done uploading. All right, so now that my video is uploaded, if I refresh my screen, you will see where my video is right here. Just uploaded this. Now, by default, it'll be placed in a default playlist. However, we can create multiple playlists so that we can organize our videos. And we can do that in the playlist management section over here. Click on that. So, as I mentioned, there is one playlist called default, which contains the one video that I just added right now. So I'm going to create a new playlist by clicking on Add New Playlist up here. And I'm going to give this a title. It could be whatever you want. You can choose the mode, sequential or shuffle. Basically what this means, it'll play video after video depending on the order that you have them, or it will play in shuffle mode kind of like your iTunes playlist. Um, it'll be on. I'm going to say create. Created that title earlier. So if I go back to my playlists, you will see where I have my separate playlists here. So if I wanted to add the video that I just added into one of these playlists, I can go to my file manager. Here's my video and click on Add to Playlist and move it from default to either one of the playlists that I have here. Click on Daily, click on Add to Playlist. So now if I go back to my Playlist Management, you will see that the video exists under the Daily Playlist as well now, since I've just added it. Now. I can go on to my playlist scheduler so that I can choose which playlist is going to be playing. So by default, it'll play the default playlist. I'm going to go ahead and play the daily playlist. I wanted to play the videos inside this playlist on specific days. Then I would change that to daily and choose which days the videos from this playlist will play. Choose my day, I can choose my hours, end hours, and create that as a playlist. If you wanted this to come on only at one point in time, then you choose the day, when it ends, when it starts, when it ends. So it just depends on when you want the videos from this playlist to play. Do you want them to be repeating nonstop? Do you want them to come on on specific days? Or do you want the videos to come on on a specific day and time? I'm going to go ahead and choose the daily playlist to play on nonstop and hit create. So basically what this means is that it'll play nonstop whatever videos are inside the daily playlist. For now, there's just one video, so it'll just keep repeating that one video forever until I choose another playlist. So. If you go to Utilities and click on Quick Links, you will find the Panel Video Player link. And if you click on that, that'll open up 
the web page that includes a video player playing whatever is streaming live from your TV station at the moment. So this is the video that I uploaded earlier and I placed into a playlist. So it'll play nonstop and if you share this link with anyone, they will be able to get to the site here and view whatever video you have playing at the time. Alternatively, if you go back to your video panel, you can go to widgets and place a video player widget within your website by copying and pasting these two lines of code here. So if you wanted to add more videos, you would go back to Web TV Management, File Manager, upload your videos, place them into playlists, and set a schedule of when you want your playlists to play. Now you do have the Jingle Video section, which essentially allows you to create playlists within a playlist. It's essentially a way to play commercials within your videos, just like a regular TV channel. So there you have it. That is the fastest way to get started with video panel and building your own TV station. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Support at allenhosting.com. Thanks for watching.